we're back for another day on the Karma Came and Build. Today we're gonna be working on the front half of the car. We're gonna be removing the front bumper, installing the new front bumper, and trying to make sure that everything is kosher there. Kyle's busy sanding headlights on a Maserati. Don't be jealous. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Cruise and by Design. 1139 West State Street in Ontario, California. Anything and everything that you need automotive is here, except for maintenance. We don't do that. If you guys are interested, links will be down below. We want to see your beautiful faces here. No one is coming for free shit. Oh I, my God. Everyone loves free shit. Like, why aren't you here? Right. It's free shit. First 25 people to come here will get a free sticker from me and Kyle. Say the words. Right. Give me free shit. Very first person here to ask for free shit will get a free shirt and hat plus the two stickers. Right? Yeah. Bunch of free shit. I can't believe you guys haven't redeemed your free shit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not enough people are watching these videos. Yeah, maybe that's your fault. You need better, better video quality. What are you doing? Okay, um, I'm gonna get to working on the Cayman. Uh, this microphone is wobbly. Hello, sirs. The newest Cruising by Design employee. Whoa. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. Beat by Apollo, stop at New Apollo. Hop a handy sour, yeah. I'm puffing Jack Sour, yeah. I feel a black power, yeah. This time is really ours. It's time to get the bag, yeah. It's time to get the bag, yeah. yeah. Dollars coming, let me see it. Months I'm made, and I'm a bit on a mission, best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it. Dollars coming, let me see it. Months I'm made, and I'm a bit on a mission, best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it. Ask for it, you receive it. Got a lot, put the key in. Got them looking, yeah, they praying. She like, I like what I'm seeing. Now we up, they agreeing. Play full, yeah, we eating. Now you can't ignore this feeling when you got it from insane. Why these niggas be out there? If I love, why you cheer? She know that I'm never leaving. They won't beef, but they vegan. I don't know why they on that. Get a pack, then I roll that. She got ass, tell her throw that. Start her on, it's a throwback. Just a straight roll, I don't even pay toes. The boy G, yes, and I ain't talking. Yeah, yo, it's been a living legend since I was like a day old I remember days though, listening to J. Cole I remember days though, listening to Drake though Had to up my profile, had to up my payroll Getting too high, yeah, you know I had to lay low Getting too fried, you know some fucking big though Yeah, I came through After a long grueling battle, we got the front bumper off There's so many things that are interconnected with the bumper, the headlights, fog lights, everything headlight washers, but we did it. Now I'm assuming just like the rear of the car, um, this bash bar is probably gonna need to have to come off to fit that new Karma front bumper. We're gonna get it down from out of storage, mount it up. I'm gonna try and tighten up these wires a little bit more now that we have them way more accessible than before and uh, get the bumper on. All right, so here we have it, the Karma front bumper. Um, now what I'm gonna try and do is just flip this over the front. Hopefully we have less plastics and things that are just in the way in general that stop us from putting this front bumper on. And hopefully this front bash bar can stay on, but we'll find out. I know you're a little busy, but what are you thinking about this uh, front bumper over here? I mean, I already like the rear bumper, so the front bumper is gonna almost complete the car, you know? Wait until we put the wheels on? Yeah, and the whole car's completed. That's a, that's a story for another time. That's a story for another time. As you guys kind of saw from the last clip, unfortunately the bumper, where we're running into issues is up here at the front. If we put these where they need to sit to mate to this properly, we don't even have 
close to proper bumper and fender gap over here. I don't know if there's something that we're missing. I don't know if this is something that needs to be adjusted. Um, for the most part, the other pieces look like they're made pretty well. However, this one just, um, it's not fitting right now. Okay, so to give you guys a better understanding of what I was talking about, the fitment of the bumper, just to be fully transparent of all the work that's gonna need to happen to get this thing to fit. Um, this is what we're looking like right now. So the most important part that I'm gonna say is the hood, the hood alignment is what's gonna set the tone for the rest of this bumper, keeping that gap, making sure that the bumper is the proper height. This is pretty much exactly where the bumper wants to sit to keep the proper panel gapping. However, with that being said, this is how far we are with the corners. Now we can push this and pull it a little bit, but we still have that gap up right here, as well as the fitment in uh, between the bumper and the fender itself isn't great, um, which is pretty unfortunate. So the main task at hand, what we're doing right now is trying to get the bumper um, and keep, okay, I'm gonna re-say this. Okay, so the main goal of, Fuck, I almost dropped this. Yeah, I'm tired, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I wanna say, it's hot, I'm sweaty. The main goal right now is we're gonna bump the, bump. The main goal right now is we're gonna bolt the bumper to the car so it's in its permanent position for the hood and the panel gapping for the hood, like I said, because that sets the tone for everything else. Then we're gonna manipulate everything else around that so that this panel gapping stays perfect the entire time. Whether that means we need to cut some of this, add material on the side, that's what's gonna have to happen. I'm also covered, I'm also covered in fiberglass. And this guy's covered in wood. Yeah. What are you doing over here? Standing for, making badass trunks for people. Gotta get dirty. Somebody has oh, to get dirty. Oh, it like that? Yep. Well, spank it, that's how you make <laughs> Okay, we're taking that out. Okay, after a lot of work off camera, we got this bumper bolted to the car, and by any means, this is not perfect. However, up here you can see we have the three factory bolts, the one, one, two, and three. And then we have one self-tapper in the corner over here. And then again, on this side, I think you can see this one better, and then one right here. Uh, the reason that we use these self-tappers is because we had to pull this bumper pretty um, pretty excessively just to even get it to fit. Like I said, our fitment here bolts up to this flush. Okay, that's fine. However, this gap right here is not even close. This uh, obviously will need to be reconstructed. Material will need to be added on here. Um, this will need to have material a little bit added on just to make sure that this is a uh, flush nice because we have a little bit of a gap here um, and just shaped a little bit so that's not too crazy again on this side um, it will need the same thing and then over here we're running into the same issue where we are pretty far off however the reason that we have those gaps like I was saying before is because if we close this hood right here set it down the panel gapping of the hood even all the way around. So in order to keep a good, uh, in order to keep the panel gapping for the hood, which I think is probably the most important part because these side pieces will be covered by the flares, the hood is the most important to keep, make sure that this uh, panel gap remains perfect. So these shouldn't be too difficult to make look good. This shouldn't be difficult to make look good. Um, honestly, this isn't the end of the world either. It's just a little bit more work than I had expected. The next thing that we gotta do is put the headlights in and check the fitment of the headlights because we have no idea how big of a gap the headlight will have on the bottom or if the headlights fit. So that's the next challenge. Hopefully the gap on the headlights are fine. If the gaps on the headlights are fine, this bodywork really isn't the end of the world. Okay, this is, a, this is a huge sigh of relief because these headlights fit in relatively well. 
the gapping on the bottom of the bumper is actually pretty close to factory. The only thing that you'll see again is we have some gapping uh, right here. And that's again because the bowling of the, the bumper itself is not fitting properly. Um, again, right here on this side, it's a little bit more exaggerated. As you can see, there's a gap right here. However, the, the spacing around the headlight is pretty good until we get to right here. So for the most part, it seems like the bumper is where it wants to be, minus the sides. Imperfections are bound to happen when you work with fiberglass, regardless of how expensive the kit is. But this is very exciting. We have the front Karma Cayman bumper on and it looks absolutely amazing, minus the small details, but we'll get those knocked out and powered out in a later video. Um, I think the next plan of attack before we start permanently mounting anything on um, the bumper wise, we need to figure out where the flares go because, because of all the gapping that we have right here and how much that doesn't like to sit down, I think that may dictate a little bit how the flare sits as well. So the flare might be a little wonky because the bumper was a little wonky. Um, hopefully that doesn't adjust the fitment of the kit overall on both sides because that may make this uh, a little bit more difficult. Well, that's nice to know. I mean, you still have a lot of body work here. This is too high, you got a gap. Right. I mean, the it's same definitely thing. A not fitting like a $7,000 body kit. Our last body kit that we did was the Challenger, right? Shirokai, yeah. Yeah, so the Shirokai fit amazing comparative to this, but plastic versus Plast yeah. versus fiberglass. I still wouldn't expect it to fit this poorly though. Nor that's, would I. That's pretty bad. Right. So that's gonna take quite a bit of work to get this to be nice, get these to be nice, because right now we're still sitting way high, so yeah, it needs to come down. Yeah. yeah, which makes this gap even bigger. Right. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a bummer. Right. But it's all workable. Professional body shop. Right. Do it. Like I said, it's not the end of the world. It is unfortunate that it does fit not the greatest. I think the big, the big factor that's a little disappointing here is how expensive this kit is and then how poorly this bumper fit. Take this with a grain of salt, my kit is number two. It's the first production kit that they've ever made. The input that we have from this kit obviously will go back to Kiki and Karma and I guarantee you they're gonna take that um, information and they will go back to the drawing board and make sure that the, the rest of the kits that come out are perfect. Um, you can't expect a perfect mold from the fir very first thing that you produce, right? Like. We literally, yeah, we're literally you know, in test phasing right now. Anything fiberglass, carbon fiber, it's never gonna fit 100% like OEM. Never is, never. So I don't care who's been doing it forever. It's it's never spot on. It might be near perfect, but not spot on. Right. Just. All right. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I really, this took a lot of effort. I know it seems like this video was probably short. Um, but that's because there was a lot of repetitive uh, grinding a few off a uh, little bit off here grinding a little bit off there and then trying to fit it back on and off on and off on and off just to make it fit even right here So next week we're gonna be working on the side skirts and flares Getting them mocked up onto the car and seeing how they fit in relation to the rear bumper and front bumper and Depending on how that fits we will probably permanently then mount the rear bumper and front bumper or at least try And then start working with the flares and the side skirts um, but for that that's the end of this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this kit, what you guys think of the front bumper, and if you guys are excited. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, we're, we're out of here. Do you have anything else to say? No. See you guys next week. I just wanna tell you that. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no, no.